I'm on the verge of beating him, and then he makes a certain maneuver when he knows I can't see him. Now well, that's what he's doing. Like if I know what he's doing is no problem following him, but if he does it when I'm not seeing it. We have lost objective Duff. Yeah. He, this guy is actually better than me. I don't know how to do these things. If he does those things when I can't see him, he beats me. But uh, as long as I can see him do it, I can follow it. I just don't know. Personally, when I fly defensively, I don't know when to do these maneuvers. But he is... Uh, I don't know if, if he is considered like really good in the dogfighting community or anything. But... The, the thing is not, the, nothing of what he's doing is all that complicated, it doesn't take much skill, it's about when you do it. Hi guys, this is Matthias, coming at you here with a video about some plane tips actually. I haven't done this in quite a long time and I felt like it was way overdue for me to actually give you a few tips about, uh, it's going to be about the attack plane and uh, the fighter. Now the dogfighting that is from the beginning, that is not really my thing. If you're interested in that, then I'm sorry, I don't really know how to help you. Except for the footage in itself, maybe. But while flying, there are many things that are trying to kill you. One of those things that you need to know how to counter, or that will help you a lot if you know how to counter, is the QF-1 AA, the stationary AAs that are placed on every map that has planes. The fortress of Feo Fortress has two of them. One is very close up on the tower near E. The other one is at uh, the closest peak of the fortress, I would say, towards the B flag. Later on in this clip, you'll see me first take out the E anti-air, or kill the guy using it. And then later, you'll see one of the ways of taking out uh, the other one. And the interesting thing that I want you to pay attention to is that I'm going to use two different tactics while doing this. Here we go. Whoa. It's, um, those maneuvers sometimes works for uh, taking out uh, the AA. Normally, normally people go with circling because it's... Uh, especially if you play on console, it's easier to, easier to circle because you have... Uh, you can just hold in your controller and it circles automatically. You just hold it in one direction, it circles. On PC, when you, if you want to go circle, circle, you have to lift up your mouse sometimes, and it doesn't cr create those perfect circles. So on PC, it's sometimes better to do another kind of maneuver, which is like a more, you go in one direction and then you switch direction a little bit based on the fact that, you know, eventually you run out of mouse pad. Let's see if I can take out this uh, AA here. 
So you notice how I'm flying low here, making sure that I'm not in line of sight of the AA. He clearly knows where I am because I get spotted by some of these guys that are shooting me. And notice how he starts shooting me the moment he can. That's another way to take out the AA. So yeah, normally that strategy of flying so low so that the AA can't have line of sight on you is something that I use on this map specifically, meaning Monte Grappa. And it's normally the D flag that I take out that way because uh, it's high up on the mountain and you can fly low, uh, almost above sea actually, and then you can drop the bombs once you're right above it. Yeah, a little bit of chat reactions there. I know some of you guys like to see that. It happens every once in a while. So for the ones of you who want to see a lot of flying videos, you have to check out my secondary channel. That's where I upload them. Mostly it's uh, an attack plane around, a full round. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, directly uh, it's a direct highlight from Twitch. To the I think they're angry. I think they're angry. So the next tip I want to share with you guys is about how to avoid the gunner of the attack plane. This could of course also be the pilot seat switching. And what I do is that I stay below the plane, that way the secondary gun really have a hard time hitting you. So I hit this guy once and see what happens. Sorry dude! That didn't work. When they seat switch, if you can fly under them, it's a good way, it's, it's a good thing to do. Don't get me wrong, I love skiing, or I, I used to love skiing. It's a nice winter sport. So here, we have to deal with an AA truck, and I don't want to just go straight for it, I want to have an exit strategy. So I turn right here, so that if he starts shooting me, at least I have access to something that can break line of sight. He doesn't do that, however, instead he's uh, trying to escape something. So I land that shot by leading a bit. That shot didn't really need much lead. And then I drop a bomb from the secondaries once I pass over him. Not sure if both hits, I don't think so. I think only one of them hit, actually. Now, it's time to finish him off. Donald Trump Hun, I got him. So I'll show you again in another example how to deal with a seat switching attack plane pilot. And it's the same thing, but I'll just show you that from another situation. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. That's the thing with uh, gunners and seat switching is that if you get below them, they really can't, they, uh, they really can't shoot there that well. Very common trick. to the combat area. Return to the combat area.
have taken objective apples. Lost objective Charlie. Feindlicher Panzer gesichtet. How is it that my team can't? Deal with this tank. I can't kill that tank. My team isn't helping. If you know two a uh, two eighty rockets on that tank, and it would have been down with all the damage I'm doing to it. But he just gets it to heal up again or repair up again. Now they have AA. We have lost objective Charlie. Seriously, even with that tank there, we couldn't get him down. Amazing. And the thing is, he disappears all the time from the spotting. Did we get him now? We have taken objective Charlie. No, he's still there. He's still there. I. He just did his smoke. Removes him from the spotting, so I can't see him. I only do like 18 damage or something. It's tempting to tell my gunner to get out and kill it, but... He's good to have here. I'm dealing like 25 or something every strafe. Look at how low he is. Panzer in Sicht. Holy moly, that took a long time. Alright, Luca, have a good one. Thanks for being here, thanks for checking out the stream.